Hi everyone, welcome back to Castaway TV. I haven't really checked in in a while. It's been a busy couple weeks in between rainfalls and a minor accident that you've probably seen from the title already. I lost the boat on the 401. I'll explain more about that later. But right now I've slept in Russ's driveway last night. And uh, we went out fishing. We tried to get this motor running. It hasn't worked out so far, but we think we got it now. So we're gonna head down to the boat launch and see if we can get some fishing done today and not just be boat mechanics, which we are not. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, both pants. Can you stand in front of the camera? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you did it on purpose. I, it's not even facing you. It's facing you, Oh, it's on too, eh? I went on another fishing mission with Russ today. It didn't work out, but I want to fill you guys in on what's been going on the past couple weeks. I really haven't had much time to film, and things just haven't been working out to make a video, but a lot of crazy things have been happening. So I came to come down here to Belleville area for a week or so to do some work. So I was gonna bring out the boat, do some fishing while I'm down here. Pike and uh, walleye opener was going on in zone 20 and zone 17, so, Great time to do some fishing, and I was almost here. And then I was just about to Belleville, and behind me was this black truck flicking their lights, and they were honking their horn, and they were way back, so I really wasn't assuming anything. I thought they were just maybe in a rush to go to the hospital. I wasn't sure. And they're getting closer and closer, and then they're beside me, waving me down, going, hey, your boat. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> No way, it was super windy on the 401. I should have stopped to check my straps. But I was in a rush and I didn't. So, I started pulling over to the side of the highway. And you can't see my boat in the mirror of my truck because it's, it was too small, the trailer's too small. So I look in the mirror and I see the boat is dragging behind the trailer, fully on the asphalt. Oh my, oh, okay. So pull over to the side of the road. Transports are flying by. I've got to get this done in a hurry. So I <laughs> jump out. The strap is like caught in the front of the boat. That's the only reason it even stayed on the trailer. So I had to cut that free. I had two new straps, thankfully. And uh, re-strap the boat on and get out of there. And I didn't even check to see if the boat had damage. I just wanted to get off the 401. And then I go to my buddy's house in Trenton check the boat and there's there's a hole the size of like a cookie okay, dang so I'm thinking like flex tape I'm gonna make a video out of this whatever we'll figure it out and then we'll patch it for real and uh, and later in the night I start thinking hey why don't we go on marketplace maybe there's maybe there's a boat we can get around here for a couple hundred dollars so we can like make sure we have a solid boat and then I found the blue boat that you just seen in the video here so the blue boat is the new boat. I got it for a great deal. Um, very excited about it, but we were running into troubles the whole time so far. When I took it on the water the test drive as soon as we got it, drove, and then when I went to go dock it, it slipped out of gear and wouldn't go into either forward or reverse. <clears throat> so again, I'm cursing, but we got a boat, great. It, the motor starts, I'm, I'm excited. We'll figure it out. And now, to this weekend, we got the trailer lights all fixed up on Friday. Um, wired up some stuff, got everything running, the battery on charge, sweet. We're gonna get back out there. 
yeah, we go out, we get it started. I thought I had uh, the linkage hooked back up because it was slipped out, the cable was loose. Go out, nope, and not gonna go. So we take it back to my buddies, we work it on it for the next couple hours. We drove back in there, we think we have it. We get in the water, we got reverse. Sweet, we got a gear. No forward. But I, there's boats coming in and out, so I'm like, okay, let's go in to the water a little deeper where I can let these boats go in and out and I'll figure it out out there. So we get out there and we're doing circles back in reverse and we cannot get it to go forward. Now we're just trying to avoid boats and avoid the cabbage. And all right, we've, we find out we have no forward at all. We're gonna have to paddle it back in. So we paddle it back in and it's getting harder and harder but we're not, we're not concerned about that. We're just looking at the shore like, wow, we're out of shape. As I get closer to the shore, I realize there's water coming up from the bottom of the boat. And I'm like, oh no, here we go. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we gotta get out. We gotta get out of the water. The rest is like, no, it's just from paddling. I'm like, no, 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 there's a lot of water inside the boat. And so we get it out and the whole back of the boat is filled with water. We've got, I don't know how many gallons, but more than there should ever be inside a boat. It drained for, over five minutes for sure. I'll put a clip of that. Well, me and Jake almost died today. And we are back to the point. We just have no forward, but the motor's running perfect. So hopefully we'll get that fixed. We'll get that video going soon. Um, fishing wise, we went out for the pike opener in a little tournament. I caught a pike, Russ caught a pike. Here is some clips of that. Yeah. There you go, Jake. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, so that's what's been going on the last couple weeks. I had mentioned on social media that I'm going to be starting a podcast, and that is in the works. I may film a few episodes before I end up releasing it, but it will be coming soon. It is going to be mainly about addiction, how it has affected my life, how I've learned to deal with it, and I want to get other people's opinions and other people's viewpoints of it. So I'll have some guests on the show, hopefully. Other addicts see their experiences. As well as like being able to create a chat, I wanna get questions from people and answer them. Cause um, there's addicts that have questions about addiction, of course, and there's non-addicts that have questions because maybe they have somebody in their life that they wanna understand or just really don't know anything about it and want to learn more. And hopefully I can help answer some questions. Hopefully I can help other people get through it and hopefully you guys can teach me something because I'm always open to learning new things because the more I get to learn the easier life can become and the more I can see through somebody else's eyes and walk in someone else's shoes anyways sorry for the way for the videos guys there'll be another video coming soon I want to make videos and not only base it on addiction or have sit down talk videos like this one because you guys really don't want to just see me sit and talk and if you do that's the point like if it's a podcast that's the point of me sitting and talking but if you come to watch me go on adventures and i'm sitting here talking like this telling you about my adventures and not doing it maybe you won't be as interested i don't know maybe you're gonna like this video the point of these videos is to show that you can live a happy and full life without any substances no drugs no alcohol and honestly for me i've been the happiest i've ever been in life without it and I, uh, I never thought that was a possible. I said in the past that uh, I thought I couldn't live life without it, and now without it, I finally feel alive. But yeah, thanks for watching. Another video coming soon, and stay tuned for that podcast.